Hey everyone, so today I wanted to share my experience of getting my nose done. As some of you may know, this is my third revision, all for pretty much cosmetic reasons, but also because my five-year-old silicone implant was basically deteriorating. In today's video, I'm gonna take you guys along my surgery day, what it's like getting a rib rhinoplasty, because yes, they took my rib. Stay tuned for a sneak peek of my results at the end of this video. I am so happy with my results, and I'm so glad I finally got my old nose fixed. If you guys are interested to see what it's like, and also follow along my nose job healing journey, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today is seven days before my surgery. A few days ago, I got a CBC blood test to follow some of the protocols that were acquired for rhinoplasty. So I am about to get my blood drawn. So seven days before my surgery, I got a CBC blood test to make sure I'm healthy for surgery. I got mine at Quest Diagnostics. This test is pretty standard, so you can get this at any lab corp or Quest facility depending on your location. I got mine covered by insurance, but this should roughly cost about $30 to $50 without it. Over here, they also followed strict protocols for social distancing and safety. So I know some of you guys are thinking you don't need a nose job. Right now you can't really tell that I need it because of the angle of my face. I did a consultation with a doctor. He basically says that my bridge is sort of collapsing. You guys can't tell because I'm angled again. My right side looks fine. But my left side, if I look this way, I look like a completely different person. Before you do any surgery, the nasal platform is unstable. So one side will be a little stronger than the other, but the other side is a little bit um, weaker. Mm -hmm. That's one issue. And then the other issue is the platform that the nose sits on is frequently un uh, uneven. Uh, because the foundation is not stable, that implant's gonna wanna drift off one way or another. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it's drifting off a little to your right. Mm -hmm. And that's what's causing the nostril asymmetry. Mm -hmm. Stabilize everything by uh, placing two strips of rib cartilage to make the septum as straight as we can. Place another piece of rib cartilage along the bottom also to stabilize everything. So once everything's nice and strong, then we can manipulate your cartilages without worrying about um, a, a, an asymmetric pull. So for example, the tip cartilages here will bring it up mm. like that. So yeah, seven days before my procedure and I'm gonna be going to Walgreens or CVS to get some prescriptions. And yeah, I'll show you guys what I got in just a bit. So I just came from Walgreens and I got some things that I need for pre-op and post-op. The patient coordinator of Dr. Lee is amazing. Her name's Angela, and she made me this list of things that I need. So this is actually for pre-op, and I'm supposed to put it in my nose five days before my surgery. So I'm doing this today. Got some bandages, pain reliever, saline mist that doesn't sound very comfortable but i think i'm supposed to spray this into my nose or whatnot and yeah that's about it all the other prescription drugs are going to come in i think the day before the surgery that day we're also going to do the covid test and i'm going to take you guys along that appointment but yeah pre-op day we're getting a COVID test today. First time I'm getting a COVID test since March. Not sure what I should expect, but they say it's not as bad. Ryan Little. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we're here and getting ballet to head on over to Enhance Medical Center. Got my mask on, everyone's in masks. Kinda nervous. 
right now we're just walking to Enhanced Medical Center, signing some forms, and also paying for my surgery, which was... Alright you guys, we're here right now. And I usually don't get nervous, but I'm actually pretty nervous for the COVID test specifically. How fast do I get these results? Um, by tomorrow they should arrive. Okay, sorry. Let me just put a sheet. I'm nervous. It's my I'm first time getting the test. Really? Yeah. I've done it myself. Oh really? Yeah, and it's it's just made me sneeze. <laughs> so look up for me. Oh my goodness. Was it all the way in? <laughs> <laughs> it went like the in your brain. Like here, I had to stop where the nostril was. I thought it was going in your brain. <laughs> Jeez. It's like this one like that. Oh my goodness yeah. gracious. It feels like itchy in my throat. Yeah. Wait, is that going in my eye or my throat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All I need from you is to put in your information here. Were you aware of the charges as well for the PIL? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's $100, right? Yeah. Okay, you guys, so I just took the COVID test. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It almost feels like it's going down your eye socket and your throat at the same time. If it comes out asymptomatic and positive, I'm going to have to wait another 10 days, get it redone, or the surgery is going to be postponed to another time. Hopefully it doesn't come out positive because we don't want that. If it comes out negative, then I'm good to go for surgery tomorrow. But yeah. Okay, and then uh, that white box there, uh, right here. That box is do you like the height of your bridge right now? I like it. I just think this part of the top is a little bit high. high okay. So it could be a little bit lower. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. That's so pretty. Yeah. Something like that, right? I'll probably get it in this range. Right now, it's a little bit short. Uh -huh. It's generally, uh, it should be about two-thirds of the way up. Um, it's hard to get it to go up all the way two-thirds. But you can extend it to maybe at least half. Right now I got about half. Half the distance of the entire tip. Like two thirds. Is that okay? About right. So I'm currently back at the house now. The anesthesia doctor gave me a call to ask some questions about medical history, my weight, and all that stuff. I think I'm just gonna rest the entire night. I'm actually gonna do some chores and clean the house and all that stuff just so I know that everything's clean when I come home. You guys are gonna see what it looks like in a few days. So yeah, wish me luck you guys. Goodbye old nose. Hello new nose. This is outfit for surgery. So they asked me to shower the night before fast um, and not eat anything up until 4 a.m. last night. So my last meal was about midnight last night and I'm actually starving, craving for coffee. They also asked me to remove my piercings, remove all my jewelry, comfy clothes because again, they're gonna remove my rib. Another thing that I got this morning was my negative test result for COVID. Let me show you guys. So these are my results and they came out negative, which I'm super happy about. And we're all ready to go in for surgery. How are you feeling? Nervous. Right, nothing inside. Nothing inside. Okay, so you can wear underwear. Okay. You guys, I'm in my socks and check out my outfit. I'm stripped naked underneath. I'm about to go in surgery now. This is the last of my nerves you guys are gonna see. All right, so now my nerves are starting to kick in, mostly about the anesthesia and being put to sleep. But over here, Dr. Lee is just making markers to draw out my new nose. And in about 10 minutes, I am gonna be put to sleep. We're going in. Okay, you guys, we'll see you when I wake up. I honestly did not know the concept of time at this point, but Ross says my surgery took five hours. 
and the nurse told me I woke up angry kicking the surgery bed. So yeah, this part's pretty awkward. Eric is finally coming out. Been waiting here for five hours. Can't wait to see her. I think she's coming now. Literally, I'm the only one left in here. All the workers went home. I already saw her nose and it looks really good. Don't tell her. Hi, Hi boo. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel loopy. Oh no. She did great. <laughs> okay, can I go over the medications? Okay. Yeah. Boo okay. boo, how do you feel? I feel like poop. Are you loopy? Yeah. The nurse said I woke up saying some random crap. And it's <laughs> so embarrassing. She said I was saying, babe, and then I was like kicking my feet. But I'm so loopy and I'm cold and I'm shaking. Oh no. I'll turn on the heater for you. And I just, my throat kind of hurt. Yeah, my throat's just, gonna hurt. I wanna go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna drive home and then um, I'm gonna get her in bed and she's gonna need a lot of rest after this. Okay. Is yes, Finny Poo is at home, so we have to go. I'll see you guys later. My cheese wedge is on the go. Alright you guys, sorry for another cliffhanger, but you guys will have to stay tuned for part two of my post-op experience, cast removal, and the big reveal. I'm also going to be doing a Q&A, so let me know any questions in the comment box down below. Here's a little teaser of my new nose. I'm so obsessed with how pointy it looks and again getting it done by my doctor Dr. Lee despite the pandemic was so worth it. You can check out his links down below and again thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe to help support keep this channel alive. I'll see you guys next week.